throw in one or two non-football ones. What's the first concert you ever went to? Right, I'm first getting, concert. I'm getting yeah, out of here with that one. Thank uh, you, Mark. First concert. Uh, I actually never been to a concert. Never been to a concert. What's your favorite kind of car? Favorite kind of car. Oh, I got to go with Lamborghini. Oh, that's Lamborghini. a good one. Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation. All right, that's cool. And the last one is best piece of football advice you've ever gotten. Um, talking to Doc Walker would probably be just keep keep pushing yourself no matter what anybody says just keep picking yourself up here after practice uh, the last spring practice of the year before the big game on saturday we have marcus minor was number 72 on the field you get a lot of run this year how does it feel to actually be out out, out there and, and playing a lot um, it feels good you know i'm just trying to improve myself uh, i'm young so have a lot of growth i'm just trying to make myself better um like coach steiny always says we're trying to make ourselves great so you know that's what I'm trying to try and reach. I'm trying to reach my potential, and that's all I want. Marcus, what do you think is the biggest area that you've grown from you know, your freshman to now your sophomore? Um, working on my technique. Um, I've always played with a lot of aggression. Uh, always tried my best. You know, I'm an effort guy, so I coaches always worked on me with like staying low, hands inside, uh, knees inside, tight feet. You know, so just working on that uh, just makes me a better player. And towards the end of last year, there were you know a couple injuries across the line and just some shifting that was going on. But uh, towards the end of the year, you guys had some playing time, a couple starts on your belt. How much do you think that experience, you know, helped you? Okay. Um, it was just like a, a quick bubble burst. You know, um, it, it, I don't have that feeling of not being ready. Uh, you know, being young, it always feels like. Like you're walking into a different world, you don't know what you're about to walk into. And uh, playing against uh, some of the biggest stars, it just felt good to uh, actually get down to my belt. So you know, I was happy about it. Um, I did pretty well, so I was just uh, proud of myself and I'm ready for the next step. Looks like Rick Quartz had some effect on you. You can bench press a little bit there, can't you? Yeah. What's it been like working with him and how much are you up to on the bench? Um, working with him has been great. Uh, you know, he actually trimmed my fat um, down. I got down to 21% body fat, um, 300 right now. So he's just trying to keep changing my body around, trying to work, uh, work with my strength also while being um, elusive and still being athletic. So that's a, a great aspect for that. And I'm still in the 300s right now with, um, with my bench here. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. NPS Nonprofit Services has the technology and know how to achieve your nonprofit goals. We have all the tools that you need for your nonprofit to be successful, including tech support, consulting, development strategies, and business continuity to make sure your data is safe on prem or in the cloud anywhere all the time. Call NPS at 877 797 8776 for easy to reach and easy to work with. What differences have you noticed uh, with Coach Steinspring from, from last year? Um, Coach Steinspring, I feel like uh, he's really into us. He wants to make us reach our next level. You know, uh, there's always coaches, they always wanted us to, to reach our potential. I feel like he actually takes us in like a family. I feel like he, he grinds us up, he'll yell at us when we need to, he'll push us when we need to. And then when we need to um, just be let go, like a, like a parent would let their kid go, he'll let us go and just play, and I feel like that's the best for us. What so, position have you been playing uh, throughout spring? Uh, throughout spring has just been uh, left tackle. And what experiences do you have across the line? Uh, um, through, throughout my career, I've been playing. I played center growing up, uh, but throughout college, it's just been um, – Guard and uh, set up, not set up. Uh, guard and tackle my man. So, what does Coach Stein actually yell when he snaps the ball? Doesn't he yell go or hut? What in the heck is he saying? He's saying hut. He is, so, yeah, yeah. With a Virginia Tech accent. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Yeah. With with so many linemen, um, you know, out right now. I mean, what has that done for for guys like you who've gotten you know a lot more reps as a result? Um, it's actually just gave us the um, basically the eye in the sky, just allowing us to get. Uh, film on us, allowing us to be able to see um, what work we need to get uh, done, what technique we need help with, uh, what our weaknesses is, or what our strengths are. You know, just just trying to work on that and 
when we get our chance, you know, you just try to make the best of it, and that's what we did. I was, I was calm after a while. I started becoming relaxed, and I started playing like my normal self. Now, you had that scary moment your senior year mm -hmm. at the Matha. Mm -hmm. Good council game. Yeah, it was a good council game. Do you, I mean, do you, you remember much about it? Did it um, change your whole, I mean, was it a life-changing kind of it was, situation? It, or? I wouldn't say it was life-changing, but um, it did leave some worries in the beginning but it, I had a spinal contusion so having that it was you no know, scary at the moment not being able to feel much but um as time went on I just prayed you know just knowing that uh, God got my back I was able to come back healthy uh, get all my uh, strength back so I'm just just keep playing as long as I can keep going I'm keep going how long did it take you to get feeling I mean you they didn't leave like you leave the hospital until uh, I left that night, later that night, probably like four or something in the morning. Okay. But um, was it I Montgomery got, General or it was Baltimore? Oh, you oh they both did a shot trauma. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but uh, I got full strength back in my right side okay. later in December. Okay. So that was that so was. So it was like a month. It was like a month. Around a month. Yeah. Yeah. Did it did did that period of time was it were you nervous about it or you or you um, got the doctor saying. They, the doctor said I was going to be fine. Um, just kept praying, you know. I knew God had me, so whatever his plan is, that's why I'm going to keep going by.